Others say change is coming. This is Noreen Stokes and Sheila Albers. We've talked to them before. Their sons were shot and killed by police. Now these mothers are joining forces to fight for police reform. KCTV 5 investigative reporter Angie Ricono has their story. This is Sheila Albers and Nareen Stokes. They immediately texted each other on Tuesday. They hope this verdict will be a turning point for police accountability and reforms. When I see you, I think, oh, somebody who understands. Yeah. That's what I, yeah, that's what I feel. Nareen Stokes and Sheila Albers have a tragic bond. Both of their sons were shot and killed by police. She's white, I'm black, but we still can be together. It doesn't have to be a racial thing. Yeah. No, it does not. Different departments, different years, same grief. I think Ryan and John are, are together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and they're asking us to fight for them. It's been a lonely fight. Criminal charges never came in either case. It hurts. It makes you angry. It does make you angry. You know, it's just unbelievable. Ryan Stokes was 24 years old when he was shot and killed by a Kansas City police officer in 2013. It started with an argument over a cell phone. Here's that video. It's shoving. Police maced the crowd and Ryan Stokes ran. You can see him in this police dash camera video. The chase ends in a dim parking lot. There's no video for what happened next. Ryan died holding his keys on a flip phone. The officer never faced charges. They didn't have body cameras at that time. A lot of people didn't pull out their cell phones at that time. There is video in John Albers' case. He was 17 years old. Overland Park police came to his house on a mental health call in 2018. Officer Clayton Jennison fired 13 shots into the family's minivan as Albers backed down the driveway. There will be no criminal charges brought. The officer was never charged. He was given a $70,000 settlement and retained his peace officer's license. The department reported the officer left under ordinary circumstances. She's my inspiration. A minute. She, yeah. for seven years, she has been fighting for justice for her son. Find the defendant guilty. These moms say Tuesday was a tipping point for families like them. Happy. They texted each other during the verdict in relief. We don't want to lose any any more lives. We, yes. George Floyd should still be with us. Right. Ryan should still be with us. John, John should still, still be, be with it. us. These mothers say accountability is the first step. The next step is reform. Both mothers are hopeful the George Floyd Justice and Police Act will pass. It bans chokeholds and no-knock warrants in drug cases and reforms qualified immunity, making it easier to pursue claims against police officers in civil court. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.